Oh, we're gonna need your laptop because I made this where I can't see what's on here. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Yeah, I have to read the comments from behind here. So, I have lots of babies to build. There is a total of four. However, two's heads are missing, so you don't see them right here, right now. But um, we have a lot of babies that are, they were supposed to be shipped yesterday. They're gonna get shipped today for sure. Um, that's why we're here. I'm like, I need to build babies. Where are we gonna do it at? So the one sitting up in the back over there, it's actually not my work. Um, all I did for that doll is give it a new body and re-varnished it because it was super shiny. But other than that, these are all my dolls. So uh, first, before we dive into this too deep, I just want to let you guys know for all, um, YouTube has been having some serious issues since the 10th, uh, 16th of this month. So, and what that is showing is that um, a lot of creators, subscribers, not getting notifications to channels that you watch and that you actually are following the notifications on. Um, most people are not getting notifications that new videos have been released. So for all of those YouTube channels that you guys love and support, just make sure to check out their channels daily um, and throughout the day to see if they have any new videos. Nobody knows much about when this is going to get fixed because... Uh, once again, YouTube's kind of keeping everything on the hush-hush, but there's a lot of really smart creators out there, not me. I'm smart, but I'm not smart in that way. And um, they have shared what's going on. Lisa, I'm glad you got the notification today. That's awesome. That is good news. If you got notifications, that's good news. But a uh, majority of people are not getting notifications. So just make sure to support your, you know, your YouTubers that you love to watch because a lot of us... You know, it's heart and soul um, of their incomes and stuff. And if they don't get paid, then they're going to have to get a real job. Well, this is a job, but they're going to have to go work for someone else. And they won't be able to make all these fun videos for you guys. So I'm glad, Cecilia, that you got a notification for the video. That is so awesome. <laughs> well, Lisa, I'm glad that Patreon told you. But I'm also glad, I'm really happy to hear that... Um, YouTube gave you a notification. What is the kit at the bottom of the screen? This kit over here is Sawyer by uh, Emily Jacobson. He's actually bidding on eBay currently. He's one of the budget babies. These are two other budget babies. That is the newest baby in my collection. And um, he's a crier. Oh, LaShonda, you got a notification. That is really good. So maybe they are getting things together because I will just tell you what I saw in the last month. Um, normally I have 6 million, uh, watch minutes per month. It's not, a, I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it's actually really small to, um, a lot of people. And this month I've gone down to two and a half million watch views because of, um, everything that's taking place with YouTube. So it's like, oh my gosh, I was like freaking out until I watched this few videos that have explained it a little better. And I just don't feel alone anymore. <laughs> Good to know that everyone is pretty much being affected. So I'm seeing a few of you guys have got the comments. That, I mean, the notifications, that is just incredible. I am happy to hear that. So without further ado, let's get these babies um, built because we need to get them packaged. And I don't have the box. I have to get the box at the post office. So I'm going to take them all made and then... Um, package them at the post office because I got to get these babies in the mail. I do not have any full body silicone dolls for sale. No, no, no. Okay, so. Somebody asked what's the doll in the back. The one over there, um, I think that's been by Lisa Marks. I have no idea. Like I said, it's not a doll I made. Um, I just re-varnished it. For the mom and give it a new body so that's i didn't get into too many questions and i've actually i think i've painted that kit once years ago and that's why i, I um am pretty sure that it's the bin by lisa marks sorry that i'm moving you guys here but 
Definitely got to get this. Um... You turned the fan off. Are you cold? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm starting to sweat. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'll I know. It on. <laughs> you can't be turning that stuff off. Put a jacket on. <laughs> the heck? I thought about that after I did it. But yeah. Maybe you were cold. You, you didn't think about it much though, right? You were like, mm, no, I'm not cold. Whew. Been doing stuff, girl. Okay, so this baby's limbs are weighted. Oh, I didn't bring its body. Um, these just have polyfill in them. <clears throat> I always do my auctions. I don't, um, the babies are empty, so. Yeah, that's how that goes. Um, somebody asked, Erin asked, uh, what kit is the one that is crying? That is um, Maya by AK Kitagawa. It's actually a long sold out kit, a small edition of kits, actually, I think like 250, maybe 500 at the most, can't remember offhand. Um, that is the twin to the Abbey, which by her, which um, was Landon. If you guys remember Landon, and Landon is now on Kelly's channel, which was him, but, <laughs> but, I will be, um, I've gotten the opportunity to make another Landon for my collection. So, I will be making another Landon for my collection. And I'm also making a Landon for Santa Claus because he contacted me to make a Santa Claus. Tina uh, is in the house. Tina? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Snip it up on me like that, Tina. So, yeah. Hello, everyone that's joining us. Yes. So many people. Jackie's got to keep up with the comments. <laughs> over here. I'm gonna... trying to keep up with the comments, guys. I'm so sorry if I do miss it, but feel free to post it again. So maybe I can catch it a second time. Yeah, we do our best to try to get as many comments as we can. Somebody said that they try to go to your eBay and it says your account isn't active. Oh, they're going to my old eBay account. Um, so you're probably going to the old eBay account. Yeah. I'll go ahead and share her. I was trying to edit that, but I can't remember where to fix it. I know, it sucks. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just share the link when I see those comments, um, like on my videos, and I try to go take that out. If I remember, the thing is, is I don't remember a lot of the time. But you're not alone. I get that comment a lot. I'll tell you what, I don't know, man. Building I'll share dolls, a, cu a couple of her auctions here. I hate building dolls. For those people that would like to check out a couple of her. And then this is the right eBay account. Yeah. There's babies bidding on there. I could paint babies all day long forever. But tell me to root them or build them and I'm like... It's like you're pulling my teeth out. I'm like, no, I don't want to do either of it. No, I do. But life goes on. Now I'm like, oh, I told, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to ship them yesterday. And that didn't happen. I just, yesterday was a very emotional day for me. Oh, what happened? Oh, just the chaos of YouTube and finding out that it's not me because sometimes when you feel like the problem is yourself you're like okay i can fix this i can do that but when i found out that youtube has just <laughs> these really critical problems and i'm like oh my god i really hope they're gonna fix it because that's when i started losing my ah! i'm like ah well if they're not fixing it it's not me what am i gonna do so yeah but, you know, according to, actually, eBay, I have a couple more days to ship these dolls. But I'm like, man, that's a long time. Get these suckers out. Get them home. So tomorrow's Halloween. Oh, my gosh. Jackie and I, we still have to get candy. <laughs> Somebody asked if, do you get your beads from abrasive armory? I used to. I used to, but they became really, really dusty. Like, super dusty. So I stopped buying with them. Actually, what I've been doing now is I go to Harbor Freight. I'm always like, I gotta go get glass beans. Because you pay 40 bucks for 50 pounds. So, I just go to um, Harbor Freight. It's much cheaper, but they are messy because they're pretty powdery. 
Hey, my like newborns is here, and she oh, said, yeah. "Caught your life." Good afternoon. Awesome. So glad to see you here. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So Harbor Freight is my good friend with glass beads. Mm -mm. Sarah asked, "What polyfill do you use to stuff babies?" Uh, you want to hand me the bag, and I can just show it. This one I buy at Walmart. I love the polyfill, the angel fluff that Bountiful sells, but it's really expensive. <laughs> so this is what I use when um, Bountiful's polyfill is not on sale. If it's on sale, I will pay the price, but if it's not on sale, I will not pay the price because <laughs> that is, it's just ridiculous. It's so expensive, but it's so amazing. It's, am it's worth yeah. it. It's worth it. For like my personal baby, I would probably put out the price on its regular box. It's just, it is like 20 bucks for two pounds. Does not get you very far. Cause you have to use a lot of that stuff. It's so like, oh, it's amazing. But <laughs> it really has to be um, packed down into the baby. I'm gonna move you guys this way. Um, she said, yeah, I hate the dust and the shipping price with them lately. What grit do you get from Harbor Freight? They only have one grit, and it's the 80. So it's like... I'm like, grit. <laughs> <laughs> what grit? They, so it's the 80 grit? Yeah, they only have... Ours only has one. I wish they had more, but they only have one. Somebody told me, oh, if you buy it in the little blue things, which can be costy... You can get a different one, but in our blue, it's like a blue container, it's small. Those are the 80 grit too, so I don't know. Sorry, I'm off to the side putting the glass beads in the body because I have to, I straddle the body over my leg. <laughs> and I didn't want to take you all for a spin, but um, that's what I'm doing is I'm doing the glass beads in the body right now. Shit. So many comments, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, somebody did ask if you're going to, um, Cecilia asked if you're going to wear that baby costume tomorrow. No, the baby costume is just for fun. So we actually need to go to Target and make our freaking video, Jackie. <laughs> um, she's my hold up with that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> tomorrow. You better get in the outfit, then we can go. <laughs> okay, fine, I guess. I guess I'll just get in the outfit, and then that way you know I'm ready, huh? Oh, yeah, then that way I can take you serious. <laughs> I'm ready to go! <laughs> I'll put the outfit on, let's go! Okay, fine. Um, I am a clown. Uh, I want to be a zombie clown if I can wear the mask, but when I put the mask on, I kind of start to hyperventilate. I don't know, because it's a full wrap around, go down your neck mask, but it is amazing that I just start to hyperventilate and it's so weird, I get like claustrophobic. So, I gotta, yeah. Are you going trick or treating? No. Like one, two, one, two, three. We're handing out candy and scaring little kids. That's our plan. <clears throat> Someone wants to know if Atticus baby is unisex. Atticus, no, it does have a, uh, a pee pee. It does have a pee pee, but you know what? <laughs> a boy you, pee pee. You can easily make it a girl because, you know, due to YouTube standards, you can't even show that kind of stuff here. So I'm just like, whatever, you're a boy, I'm going to make you a girl because no one's ever going to see your private part, anyways. So it's an easy. Or you can take his torso off and restuff him and, um, you know, call him a girl, but I think you'll get away with it just fine because people aren't going to be like, let me see. I want to make sure that's a real boy. <laughs> uh, Bella Bean Reborns by Maria Scott wants to know if these Reborns are for the Rue show. No, no, no. These are ones that have been sold. Um, for the, yeah, these are ones that have been sold or they've sent me to do work on. These are actually the, this one and this one that I'm building right now are budget babies that sold on eBay. <clears throat> and the Sawyer is a budget baby on eBay. That one over there. Unicorn Mary said she's going to be a shadow hunter with her friend. She's 12. Oh, a shadow hunter. That's pretty creative. What kind of costume does that consist of? I'm just kind of curious. I've never... <laughs> 
Um, Valerie Beck said, oh my God, the way you have the loose head laid, it looks like that baby has two heads. <laughs> oh, well, so cute. <laughs> true, true. Uh, Sweetie Pie Nursery said, are any of these babies Bubba's? Yes. This one. <laughs> this one. And this one who is bidding on eBay. What's a Bubba, honey? It's a budget baby. <laughs> it's a budget baby. Jackie made it up, too. <laughs> she gets all the credit on that one. Jackie came up with the term. Let's see. Do the... I don't understand this one. Do the limbs need to be glued? Glued? No. I just stuffed the limbs with um, polyfill at the end. Just compact it in there. Terry Raymond said uh, she sent a picture about the beads on Stephanie's Patreon. I Are did they too. the correct beads to buy? Yeah, I swear I commented on that one. <laughs> Terry, she said she commented on there. But I might not have. <laughs> but if she didn't, what is the answer? Yes, it is. I saw it. Is. <laughs> I thought I commented because I remember seeing it. Oh, and then I guess I didn't. <laughs> Oops, not to me, not to me. All right. Lisa Saunders wants to see the glass beads we get. Are they bigger than usual? No, they're not big at all. They're like powder. I'll show them in just a second. Let me stuff this one's head. Let's get this one doll built, and then I'll show you guys the glass bead. Yeah, Lisa. Oh, yeah, Lisa Saunders just commented again. Can she see the beads? <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. I just saw your first comment, and um, yeah, we're gonna be sharing the sharing beads. the beads here. I'll show you in just one second. Okay, <laughs> so we got one baby done. One baby is down. You put this together faster than me. Okay. You do everything faster than me. <laughs> So that is the glass beads. They're very fine. It's yeah, very fine. Almost which looks sucks. like sand. But it's not, so don't put it in your fish tank. It's Maddox. That one is Maddox. Maddox, what do you mean? Oh, they asked if uh, the budget baby was Maddox. So they are 50 pounds, um, 80 grit glass bead, and we get it from Harbor Freight. But the nice grit, it's... Well, I like this grit, actually. Lisa said, just wondering, because I didn't think Harbor Freight had the small ones. Oh, yeah. When you put the limbs in, do they have... Do they need to be glued? No. The zip ties hold them. They don't need... Or the strings, whatever your body has, they don't need to be glued. You just tighten your zip tie to where you like it. And... Then we take the nail clipper, so there's no sharp edges. Yep. Valerie said, would you guys consider doing a trade for a custom? I make customs and would love one of your dolls. A trade for a custom? I don't know, right now I'm not doing any trades. Maybe Valerie, if, maybe I guess after the holidays? Maybe would. you would have to contact me and I would have to, <clears throat> you know, see your work. Because I know that right now, getting closer to the holidays, things are getting crazy. So I can see you wouldn't have time for it. I've just done too many trades this year. <laughs> too many. But, okay, so one baby is ready to go. Minus the um, clothes. Mia asked, where do you get the baby's bodies? Bountiful baby. This dog came with this body, so I'm uh, using it, its body. It looks very different. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a body that the sculptor made with the doll. It's not bad. <laughs> so, But typically, if they don't come with a body, then I get them from Bountiful. This part. Put your white onesie back on. Your mom is so excited to get you too. Evie asked, hello, I'm Evie. I want a reborn doll for Christmas. Do you recommend any cheapish ones? I mean. Your budget babies. The budget babies, you know, if they bid, they could bid in your favor. But I guess just 
looking on eBay. I don't know. That's so hard. I can't really recommend anything. You just have to, just have to look. It's that's such a tough question to answer. It really is. Yeah. But if you know cheapest and you're meaning like you have a hundred dollars, I would probably recommend getting a Paradise Galleries doll. Do you know any open eye budget babies? Um, I will have my next budget baby is um, going to be awake. So I have one coming up. Uh, probably be bidding on eBay tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. Alex, go over there. What kit is the baby in the middle? Oh, it's, um, that one is Charlie's or Charlo Charles, I don't remember. Do you ever put three quarter legs in a body for full legs? It, um, yes, I do. A lot, actually. Unless the legs are really short. But for the most part, I try to have the three quarter legs always on a full body. It is possible. Sometimes you can get like a longer torso body too if the legs are short to make the leg, uh, doll appear more size appropriate or proportioned, whatever. So, yeah, I do. Okay, you. I'm gonna get you put together. Yes, we are. All right. String this body, take out your poly field to where we need it. And we're gonna fill the legs. Uh, whoa. Uh, um, Bella Bean said she bought a girl Liam because she loved Hudson so much. Oh, thank you. Hi, Joanna. Joanna is in here. Joanna from SoCal. I'm making her the, Le the Levi that I told you. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Hi from the UK. Well, hello. Let's see. I like your open eye and mouth babies. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Tina said, I like watching you guys build the babies. I'm finishing up my redo babies nails right now and watching. Oh, fun. I can't wait to be done with this, have them in the mail, and get to painting. Oh, thank you, Joanna, for your sweet comment. She said, I'm glad to hear you smile, Jackie. <sighs> you guys, me too. Me Stop. too. Well, no, when, you know, things are rough with you, it affects the whole household. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First time reborn mom said, did your doll show babies come with a blanket or anything? My doll show babies? Yeah. Um, last year, did they come with a blanket? Yeah, they came with a little goodie bag. They just had an outfit in the bag with a thank you card. <clears throat> but other than that, no. Woo! Oops. Angela Hart, Steph, how's your daughter? Oh, our daughter? <laughs> She's good. She's good. <laughs> She's good. She's at school. She's in love. She's good. <laughs> Thank God she's in love with a boy that's in Washington. So I don't have to worry about them sneaking off during school and doing anything naughty. Not that she would. <laughs> Hi, but Kelly. You just never know. Heather Aldrich asked, where do you get magnets? I've been hesitant on buying some. Uh, lately, I've been buying them at Harbor Freight. <laughs> Harbor Freight. <laughs> but it's it, it ends up costing more in the long run. But typically, <laughs> um, I've ordered them at Apex Magnets before. Um, online. Don't be hesitant to buy them. You can never really go wrong. It's just the size. I remember the exact size. I always forget. Yeah. what the size is yeah um and i maybe opened... look at the sizing for the ones from harbor freight yeah because that's and a perfect sh size share that well i threw away the package yesterday as i think i already opened them and put them on the wall i don't know 
So maybe go back to the store and look at the size. <laughs> we were just size. over there. <laughs> Share the size, and then it's just I don't feel like they're strong enough. That's they need to be a little bit stronger. Yeah, yes. they're not the right uh, strongness, but I mean they strongness. Need, they're not the right strength. <laughs> Strongness. <laughs> but they work. <laughs> they work. But yeah, you get 10 for two ninety nine, I think. So it's kind of expensive. And Somebody long. said, hi, Kelly Maple. But uh, oh, yeah. Hey, Kelly Maple is here. <laughs> yeah. You should know if she's there. She's a moderator. Yeah, had, I see that. We had to make I her a moderator because people were pretending to be Kelly Maple. <laughs> and everyone was like so uh, Joanna is super sweet. Aww. Your Levi, though, Joanna, is really pretty. I really like it. Um, Jessica asked, do you ever make drinking wet system babies? No. No. i seen somebody do that, and they just had the system going into the diaper with the, all the cloth, and I'm like, the cloth is going to get wet. That makes no sense. <laughs> Trust me, I have thought about it, but I don't know. Oh, Sarah, you're so sweet. She said, I'm so pretty, I don't need any costume. Aww. Sarah, you have really good self-esteem. That's good. <laughs> I'm so ugly, I don't need a costume. I just go out there. <laughs> Tina would like, um, she's a new reborn artist, and she would like, well, she said, she's asking for any good advice as a new reborn artist. Well, if, hmm, let's just say I wasn't a reborn artist overnight. We actually didn't even like the term until a couple years in. I was just like, I make reborns. I'm not an artist. Um, just know that the more you paint, the better you will become. And these things don't happen overnight, so don't get frustrated. And know that eight years in, we still get frustrated. <laughs> so if you do get frustrated, that was contradictory. Yeah, sorry. I, I meant to say, if you do get frustrated, know you're not alone <laughs> because it's just gonna happen. But the more you paint, and every time you paint, you should always, you shouldn't be happy with this is good enough. You should always. Um, I think you should that, always try to be better than your last doll. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. Somebody sent us five dollars, honey. Oh, Jackie Cohen. Oh, uh, Jackie. Uh, need help finding pacifiers to fit my baby. Uh, oh, Priscilla. Okay, so anything curved. So Nook would be a good one because Nook, you know, butterflies in. So anything that has that little curvature. That is a good pacifier. Priscilla's hard because she, yeah, she does have those really kissy lips for sure. That doll is not lacking in lips at all. Oh, uh, where did I do it? Did I? Is there a bag of? Uh, I mean, a box of pantyhose by you? A box of pantyhose. I brought in the pantyhose, but I don't know where I put them. I sworn I was bringing them this way. Uh 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 uh. uh. Where did you get them from? The garage? That, yeah, I think they're on the table. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, also investing into a tutorial is really wise. Um, you know, that is something really wise that you guys can do is invest into tutorials. We had we did that in our younger painting days. So, like, I do sell access to a reborn painting group. It's a hundred bucks just to have access to it. And in there I have newborn tutorial, toddler tutorial. I need to make a new tutorial um, to go in there actually. But I have hair painting tutorials, some tips and tricks on how to, some videos that show how to paint stuff. Where did I put the polyfill? Kelly Maple's excited to see Parker 2.0. God, so I know <laughs> everybody is. They call you out on that too, man. They're like, where is that dog? I know, I am just, Gosh, I love that doll. I'm just ignoring that fact that I'm excited to. He is... Oh, there's something about that reborn, man. 
I've never had a connection with a reborn like that. It's like heart and soul, and it's weird because I'm very much a, oh, it's just, it's an item, you know, sell it, whatever, move on. But that doll, yeah, total heartache. But I'm so excited for him. I just try not to say much around here because then Jackie feels pressured. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just told her I'm, I'm trying my best. Yeah. I have a lot of babies. He was my birthday gift, so let me just tell you. I've been waiting. <laughs> yep. And then now at Christmas, I'm like, I just want you to paint another kit. <laughs> when when you have the time. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Honey, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, it's exciting to know um, that everyone's Someone so wants to know what's the name of your toddler and how much, how much does a baby like him go for? Toddler's name, uh, Hudson is his name, and a toddler like him can easily bid for $2,000, easily, especially from his artist, which I need to pay off his little brother with his artist, although I think I want to make it a little sister, I'm not sure. Um, the same person just asked, show us how to dis disassemble the head, I would like to add a magnet to my current baby. Okay, um, <laughs> man, so I'm trying to think here. Hold on, let me finish what I'm doing here. I have a glass beads I'm going to put in ahead. Um, it's actually really easy to do. Um, I think of a doll head. You know what? I'm going to have to make a video for that. I'll make a video because I want... I, there's nobody I want to take apart right now, and I don't want this video to be too all over the place. Um, so I will make a video on how to take a baby apart and put a magnet in there. It's actually really easy. You just squeeze at the base of the neck. If it doesn't have a neck ring, it'll be easy. You squeeze at the base of the neck, and you can typically just pop them right off without cutting the zip tie or anything. Then you remove the polyfill stick some glue in there with your finger right behind the mouth and then put a magnet hold a magnet on the front of the lips and drop a magnet into the head that's why you see the magnet on its lips and the inside magnet will find the magnet on the outside and then you just let it set for a few hours and it's dry i use e6000 glue i think it works the best but i, I can make a video just for that So we gotta get this boy on. His mom is super excited. She's on my page, uh, Instagram. She said mine has zip ties. Yeah, you should still be able to squeeze it out. And then you'll just squeeze it back in. So basically, if like it's this. Too tight, then you will have to cut the zip tie. Yeah, if it's too tight. But typically, you should just be able to. Uh, let me see. What do we have over here? Let me see what this baby's got. Oh, zip tight. Okay, I'm going to show you. So here at the base, I mean, the head is not super loose, but it's tight. So what you're going to do is you're just going to squeeze at the base of the neck, okay? And just pop it out. Now, then you'll take out the polyfill and do your magnet. Then when you go to put it in, you're just going to put it here, squeeze at the base of the neck, and it's difficult, but... You work the head in around the rim, and there you go. See, voila. Okay. Oh my goodness. Sorry, we had to take your head off. But sometimes you have to do things you don't like to do, baby. On your eBay, it said something about layaway. Do you still do that? I don't do layaway on the budget babies. That actually says no layaway. Um, and. Layaway, I'm going to be putting up a doll soon on eBay, and I will allow layaway on that one if it bids over a certain amount, but 30% will be required uh, at auction end and then pay off in, I don't know, 45, 60 days. I haven't figured that out yet. All right, look at you guys. So I know it doesn't look like super filled right here, 
But I like to, I don't overstuff my babies because I like them to be able to, um, you know, move around and hold more like a baby naturally does. See that, how it moves so nice. And when you hold it, it makes a huge difference. So I don't overstuff my children. Do you prefer string or zip ties? I prefer string. Jackie prefers zip ties. Mm -hmm. But I honestly, the strings are amazing because <laughs> if you put them too tight, they so start to kind of start to loosen. <laughs> when the baby's head fell, Cecilia set off with his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got two babies built, guys. Do you have a neck ring in him? I have always just cut the zip tie. No, I never use a neck ring. I haven't used them in, since my first year of reborning. Um, Life of a Reborn Nursery said, my baby is overstuffed and now I can't get her arm back on. <gasps> Video interrupted. At least on my end. Um, looks like we're fine. Okay, and now you up. can't get your arm back on? Uh, maybe take out some stuffing and see what happens. Shouldn't be too bad. Great little one. Got to move you all around. Be nice to them. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Moving them around. <laughs> it's because you're, you're like that with everything, though. <laughs> you're slightly <laughs> aggressive. Well, you just have to toughen them up. <laughs> no, this is how they don't, don't cry. Made life, life of a reborn nursery said she tried that removing stuffing uh -huh. and I guess she can't put the arm back on maybe the zip tie is too tight she said it was too stuffed I don't know I'm confused maybe get a new zip tie yeah maybe try a new zip tie uh, I, oh what I use Mod Podge for my gloss which is like a, it, it is a type of Paper glaze. No, she says you use paper glaze around the limbs to make them move easily. No. That's what she's saying. No. I've never heard of that, Monda. That's a good idea. Does it work? Does it actually work? I um just keep them tight enough. Bye, Reborn Mama 2017. Be safe. Is she going to work? She, uh, her kids are coming. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why I said be safe. I thought she said she's going to pick them up. That's why I'm like, <laughs> be safe. You be kids safe. are coming. <laughs> but sometimes you got to be safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially if they're grouchy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody says they have a question. <laughs> Baby production line. <laughs> Patricia's reborn baby says, poor baby, you took his head off and he's still crying. Yeah, it's always, he's a crier. Uh, first time reborn mom said, Albie gave me that tip. Haven't tried it yet. I'm scared. I'm sure it's fine. If she gave you, if she gave you that tip, then I'm sure it works. Yeah. That would be something good to try. I would love to see how... It'll eventually come off because you know what? <laughs> you know what's a funny thing? Is if you go to their lips and you're able to get the glue... The glue, I've done this. It actually, even though it's dried on there, you can actually peel it off. And it doesn't take the paint off. I did it not too long ago. I was like... And that's how I found out about it. I was like, what? That's, that's kind of scary. I've taken it off the eyes too now. I'm like, oh, I just... You have to scratch at it to get it, but it it comes off. What's the doll in the back? Did you paint it? No, I did not paint that doll. <laughs> um, that doll is one that I just had to do the varnish on, and I gave it a new body. <clears throat> what dummies does Twin A take? Twin A, uh, all the soothies and Wubba Noobs are perfect for her. Um... The Walmart brand pacifier has a small enough nipple that you don't have to cut that. <laughs> Other than that, you just have to cut them a little bit. Uh, Reborn Mama, the one that I thought she was going to go pick up her kids. Uh -huh. She said, LOL, with kids, 
Sometimes you need to watch out. <laughs> yeah. Especially, uh, have you watched that movie, uh, what's it called? Sinister? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that movie's so Don't let creepy. your kids watch that. Give them way too many bad ideas. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta watch your back. Some new doors locked. Do you repaint doll babies? Sometimes. Or root babies? No, no to the rooting. Sometimes I do repaint dolls, yes. What does Stephanie say she uses Mod Podge for? All my glossing needs. Glossing? Mm-hmm. Oh. I thought you said glassing. Glassing. <laughs> All my glassing needs. I'm missing my baby today. I'm stuck in the hospital an hour from home. Ah, uh, that's no fun. I hope you're okay. Yeah, I hope you're all right. Maybe you're just working. Oh, my poor head. My question is, I have a, I have a boy reborn named Liam, but I haven't bonded with him much as a boy. Should I change him into a girl? Yeah, why not? Has that helped your bond? No. <laughs> Never has. Never. <laughs> if you, okay, all I can tell you, and Jackie can tell you too, from watching me, if you don't have a bond with a doll, you don't have it. Just sell it. Just sell, just sell it. it. Don't waste any more time. Just freaking sell it. Putting it away, changing its clothes, never works. At least for me, it's never worked. And I've seen people do it, and it doesn't work. But there's like a they rare... They try. Yeah, there's a, there are some that, very few, it has worked. But I will tell you, if you don't... And it's not a bond. You just don't like it, basically. I mean, you know, because it's, it's a doll, so we... You don't like it. You know, there's something about it that you you did like it, and then all of a sudden you're just like, man, I'm just not into that doll. And then you want to change its gender, and you're like, yeah, it's not a girl for sure, or a boy. And it's just, just see, bottom line. That's what a good reborn parent does. Yeah. They try. They try. You know? So if she wants to do it, then hey. Yeah. Let's Don't give up just yet. Don't give up just yet. I'm just, <laughs> just saying it never worked for me. But Jackie, that's why she laughed, because she's like, did it work? Because <laughs> I've come up to her, and I'm like, hey, I should try this one as a girl, huh? If Or if she sees me changing the gender secretly, she knows what's up. <laughs> she's like, you yeah. should just sell the doll. You don't want it. And I'm like, yeah, true. <laughs> true. And it's not that I don't like the artwork. It's just, I don't know. You know, like, for instance, I love the Ellie Sue. Love the Ellie Sue as a bald baby. Always wanted the Ellie Sue by Bonnie Brown in my collection. I just thought that was the baby for me. But as soon as that sucker gets hair, I don't like it. I don't like anybody's version of Ellie Sue with hair. That baby, for some reason, once you put hair on it... Yeah, everyone's like, yeah, just sell it. Yeah, I Just agree. doesn't look right. I don't know. That's just how it hits with me. So if I have Ellie Sue in my collection, she has to be bald. I love her when she's bald. But once it gets hair, I'm like, what the heck? Miles, Jackie asks, where do you sell your pacifiers? Just want to make sure you don't miss that. A lot of people agree with what you're saying, honey. Oh, that's, uh, they don't have to agree. I mean, <laughs> I'm just talking, but thank you. I mean, we all have our own opinions. And stuff. Colleen says she's curious about the doll shows. Can anyone go to them? Yes. Or you can only go if you you own a no. unicorn or silicone? No, no, no. Anybody can go to them. Anyone. The doll show is open to anyone and everyone. And we actually want people coming that don't know about the dolls because then you can expand the hobby, you know? Or they might be like, hey, I make teddy bears. Oh, I'm a Blythe maker, and those dolls are all welcome at the doll show. Dolls and teddies. I love your answer. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> are you really that cold that you have your hood Yes, on? I am very cold. I am like, we need to turn the AC down. <laughs> I'm sitting here next to my wife with a hoodie and the actual hoodie on, <laughs> like the hood part on my over my head. And she's over here sweating. But it's like, what, 72 in the house? I don't know, but yeah, I, it's not that cold. so cold. <laughs> I'm like so hot, take my clothes off. 
<laughs> Reborn Mama 1995 says Tommy Tippy makes a newborn size passy and fits wonderful on twin A. Ooh, see, we learned something new. I had no. Oh, that's right. They just came out with those smaller ones, those newborn ones. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, I haven't had a twin A in my collection, which, trust me, I've been debating putting back in my collection. Um, and but since I've had my twin A, Tommy Tippy wasn't making those pacifiers. So that's cool. Good to know because I have a few of those pacifiers. Where do you buy reborn kits that is retired at? What company do you find some oh, in Landon? I just put out, I contact a couple of my friends on Facebook that I know that are, you know, they're in forums and stuff. And I say, hey, I'm looking for this kit. Just if you see it, keep an eye out. Like my friend Susan, I asked her to keep an eye out and <laughs> she bought the doll. Cause I needed it and I'm like thank you so much but uh, I won't have the funds till the first so I'm excited um, but yeah that's how I do I just go into I'll put up a Facebook status um, and I have to be very I don't really put it up on Instagram but I will put up a Facebook status um, and that's how I pretty much find them on Facebook sometimes on eBay they're expensive but there is a Maisie bidding on eBay though I did see that, and yesterday she was like at 200 and something dollars, just the blank kit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I almost lost that baby. This baby's for Tiffany's Circus. No, not Tiffany's Circus, sorry, Whistle Bean. Whistle Bean won this one. <laughs> Life of a Reborn Nursery, is it better to just... <clears throat> oh my gosh, somebody just sent us a $5 donation. Oh, thank you. Um, Liberty Lewis, I really appreciate you guys. It was so nice to meet you. Oh. Oh, that was her. That you have the baby. Oh, yes, I have your baby. Ah, oh, thank like, you. Who did we meet? Yes. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you so much, Liberty. Thank okay, you. Okay, I'm trying to. I'm going to go get the head to that baby. Ah, I did something. Oh, no. Oh, no. I left the page. Oh, when you click on it, it highlights gray? Yeah. Click on it again and it goes away. It's okay. I was um, fighting with that the other day. When I was in someone else's live, I was like, why is yeah, my screen I think nursery asked, is it better to just buy a painted kit or buy a blank kit and get an artist to paint it? Well, do you paint? So you buy a painted kit from someone? Uh -huh. Or is it better? I don't know if she... Oh, like cheaper. She's asking. Um, I so mean... Is it cheaper to buy a kit? Buy a painted kit from someone? Or I buy the kit and have someone paint it for me? It it's really depends. I mean, it's not much cheaper. Because you're just subtracting the kit cost out of the labor materials. So, But if it's like a rare kit, you know, or... Um, then yeah, you would want to buy the kit and provide it. Like, for instance, I'm doing a custom and I was asked about the custom and I said, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. That doll kit alone costs $300. It's second market, it's highly desirable. And I said, so you're gonna pay $300 for that kit and then for me to paint it is $400. And the lady was just like, look, I don't care what it takes. I need this doll for my kid's Christmas. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I, first couple days, I was like, I'm not going to find this kit. I'm not going to find it. It's just so old. I'm not going to find it. And then, so I actually had told her, I was like, look, I'm not going to find that kit that you want. It's just, I can't find it. The next day after telling her that, I freaking find the kit. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I contact the lady back and I was like, look, found the kit. It's $300, just like I said. <laughs> She's like, all right, give me your PayPal. So, I mean, in her case, she still paid $700 for me to make the doll. <laughs> but I only got four of it because she bought the kit. So, yeah. When are you doing another giveaway? This has been a common question. I... We'll be doing some more kit giveaways, which I need to pick the winner to the last kit. Bountiful has sent me some kits to give away. And um, 
I need to do a reborn giveaway this month. I have a reborn from Katie that I need to give away. Um, I am giving away a doll on Patreon. I'm just randomly giving them a doll. It's like they don't have to join Patreon. It's not a tier saying, oh, if you join this tier, you're going to get a doll. So I'm just doing a random giveaway because they're just so awesome there. Um, but I will, yeah. I need to put up a giveaway this month for a, a doll. You're right. I have one. So soon, 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 soon. Okay. So this baby that I'm building is actually a baby that was won on Patreon. She's actually been sitting around for a little bit since... She's been sitting here for a while. It's a he. I'm going to send it as a he. This baby's been here for a little while because I don't know why. Tina said the kits themselves ain't that expensive. It's the painting that costs. Yeah, unless you're looking for a long sold out kit, then it's different. But yes, very true. Is it better to have a weighted head or not? Oh yeah, you want the head weighted for sure. Not unless it's like a toddler, you really don't want it weighted too much because you want it to be able to sit up. Would you ever do a video on how you do baby's hair? I've been interested on how you lay the hair and glue it on. Oh. Yes, I've seen that comment a few times. Um, if I do do it, it's probably going to be a reward for those who are in my Facebook page because that's what they pay for is tutorials. Um, like I said, that's just a $100 access fee and then you're there for life. So whatever I share, you get. So I'd probably be sharing that there because that's something for them. Your mom is going to be so happy. Um, Jackie asked, can you explain what goes on through Patreon? Um, you would actually have to go there and read because there's a, it has a bit of description, but basically Patreon is a place where you get more of my one-on-one -on -one attention. Like if you send me a message, 99% sure you're going to get a reply. <coughs> Um, <coughs> unless you're sending me a message thanking me to an answer, then, you know, there it is. But, I, uh, you, it's a place to hang out with other people, share photos of your babies or anything. And, um, just be with people that are there because they love the hobby. You don't get creeps or, um, you know, trolls, haters or anything like that because you know people pay to be there and you can be on patreon for as little as a dollar um and there i just like will be you know i i talk with people like hey this is what's going on in my day what's going on in yours um and uh just you know stuff and sometimes i do random giveaways there my patreon doesn't state i do giveaways because you can't have people join patreon because of the giveaways so i just will sometimes random hey you won something especially like i've been paying attention to who's participating a lot on there and um i uh what was i gonna say yeah so those who are participating more than others i give away prizes and stuff sometimes but it's just a hangout so for as little as a dollar you can be there and hang out jackie just shared a link so you can check it out uh get a fill for it um you get early access to youtube videos which i'm going to be working on that a bit harder this month um yeah just fun stuff I share things on there that I don't share anywhere else. Like I share stuff about my animals or I just, some of the stuff I share there is only shared on Patreon. So I don't know. Everybody seems to enjoy it. When did I start selling Reborns? I started right away, but I would just put them on eBay and mm -hmm. let them bid. Um, it was probably... They would sell for like 80 bucks. 80 bucks, yeah. They wouldn't bid for much because, you know, beginner artist. Um, but, yeah, I think that is the best. When you first start making dolls, that you just let the public determine how your dolls are going to sell until you're confident in your work to be like, okay, this doll's quality is worth $300. That sounded like the do doorbell, huh? Yeah. It's a bit on TV. 
But yeah. So check it out, guys. We, yeah, so Bella. Bella Bean Reborns by Maria Scout or Scott, sorry. I've made some great friends on your Patreon. Thank you, Bella. That is so awesome to hear. Let's see. Coffee dogs and service dogs laws. I just want to say having a reborn is very helpful training my service dog. Wow, that's really cool. Um, I would like to know how it's helpful. I'm really curious because I need to train my dogs around my reborns. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, cats. But that's why they're not around them. So, yeah, well, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. You made building dolls that much better. Um, this baby is Whistlebean's baby. Oh, gosh, her YouTube. It's Eat, Sleep, and Play, or Eat, Sleep, and Reborn, I think, on Instagram. She's all through uh, YouTube. No, the mama watches YouTube, but doesn't have Instagram. But she <coughs> won this baby on eBay. And that one is um, for Melody. I believe her name is Melody or Melanie. That's her baby that was painted by another artist. So all of four of these babies are going home today. Not Sawyer, because he's still bidding on eBay. And then I have to put this Americus together. I haven't rooted her eyelashes, but she's going here in California to her mommy. So yeah, so thank you for hanging out with us, guys. Wait, your oh, eBay link. sorry. Jackie just shared the eBay link for Sawyer. Let's see. I train for many disabilities. Having a reborn of the puppy helps the puppy get used to babies, being on the floor. Oh, that's a great thing. YouTube baby sounds and you have, oh, that's awesome. That's smart. That's fun. That sounds like really cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I could share with you guys, uh, Neek. Awesome. Thank you for everyone who joined today. We're trying to go live more because we have a lot of fun doing it, actually. And you guys are so great to hang out. So we'll be back soon.